very serious times. Let me go um, to, I, got, I was reading your Twitter account, and in your Twitter account, after the attack, you referred to the president as an appeaser. You said he's too busy appeasing radicals. Appeaser. He is an appeaser. His speech in Cairo was an appeasement speech. What he just said is appeasement. He comes out of the left wing of American politics where you always blame America first, to paraphrase Gene Kirkpatrick in 1984. Uh, who's responsible for killing our ambassador? Well, it's a movie. Now, what's amazing to me is, as the candidate of Hollywood, as a candidate of the left which has been very anti-censorship, suddenly it's going to be acceptable to talk about censoring as long as you're censoring anything which offends Islam. Now, if you want to put Christ in a glass with urine, that's art. If you want to have a statue of Mary smeared with elephant dung, that's art. But now some nutcake makes a weird movie that no one has seen. That's horrifying and it's the film's fault. First of all, in the case of Libya, it is a falsehood for the President of the United States and his staff. Remember, the first Sunday you had the ambassador of the UN saying over and over on every show, this was not a terrorist attack. This was a spontaneous response. That is baloney. Whether she was simply out of the loop and didn't know what she was saying or she was deliberately lying, it is total baloney. The message was sent from Al-Qaeda before 9-11 to Libya to use 9-11 to kill Americans in response for, in revenge for, the American killing of the top Al-Qaeda figure who was a Libyan who was killed in Pakistan. Now, that traffic was there. In fact, we've now been told, there's a story today where somebody in the administration said, we were trying to analyze what this message meant. Now, you get a message that says, try to kill some Americans on 9-11 to get even for what the Americans did to us in Pakistan. It should be pretty obvious as soon as you translate the message what it meant.